Hello guys, here is a quick unboxing of a Dulux Rapid Finish paint spray gun powered by Wagner. It's a D500, two years warranty, adjustable flow rate for fast application, simple handling and cleaning, quality finish, minimal overspray. And uh, that's the gun there. And it is painting the exterior wall of the house, which is something that I intend to do with it. She's painting a outdoor chair. Oh yeah, here we go. Outdoor furniture, paling fence. Paling fence. So it's like your outdoor, uh, like bare timber fence. Doors and shutters, that would be pretty cool. Uh, picket fence, that is gonna be very useful for me. I don't know what else, ah, here we go. That's a bigger picture. So it must be the D500, does that mean it's powered? One thing I don't know is how many watts it's got. Is it 500 watts or I'm not sure. Could be like even 300 watts or it could be 1.3 kilowatts, who, who bloody knows. Adjustable air cap for horizontal and vertical spray patterns. That's gonna be useful. 800 mil container, ideal for medium sized projects. Half a liter. And I think it's got some kind of a promo code voucher or something inside the box that you can go on the Dulux website and they'll give you a free 800 mil container. So you might get a spare container, which, which also could be useful. Powerful dual fan air turbine. All right, irreplaceable filters provide clean air for a great finish. Clean air for a great finish, variable flow trigger, can be set for better control of paint flow. This sounds pretty bloody awesome to me. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Uh, Optimised for use with Dulux paints, dilution may be required. Suitable for both solvent-based and water-based paints. I've got water-based paints. Use on fences, weatherboards, doors, interior and exterior walls, and furniture, interior and exterior walls. So there they're saying in writing that you can use it for basically for painting house walls, exterior house walls. Spray ready, Dulux paints displaying the spray ready symbol are ready for use with rapid finish D500, dilution not required. So any Dulux paint that's got a, a, that icon on it that says spray ready, you can use in this spray gun. Uh, worth doing, worth Dulux. That's a good little motto. All right, and without further ado, I'm gonna, just got one, one thing over here. And that's it. All right, so that's what you confronted with initially. idea doing this one hand. So you've got some literature, some literature, operating manual, and ah, here we go, here we go, free 800 mil pot, free 800 mil pot, simply visit Dulux, and I was on their website yesterday and I saw that and that's how I found out, so that's cool, I'll get a free pot, uh, instruction manual, operating manual. And then here's this. Dulux uh, Rapid Finish powered by Wagner. Dulux Rapid Finish D500. And by the way, guys, in a subsequent video, I'll give a demonstration of, of, uh, of this thing in operation. Right now, I'm just sort of opening it up. There we go. Doing an unboxing one-handed may not be the best idea, but I will. 
it, it has a substantial, you can feel the engine, the motor in there, and I guess it goes that way. So. All right, and there's the paint pot unit. Does it have a trigger? Let me just uh, open this. Easy does it. All right. So there's that. about that interlude, I think I've solved it. I think I just put it together. I probably didn't connect it properly, but there's the, there's the trigger assembly. Um, so there's the, there's the unit. It's probably pretty well balanced, like you've got the motor at the back and with a full paint pot, I think that'd be quite balanced in the hand. And I'm, I'm about to get some sand. I've got, I've got a pot of sample paint that I'm gonna use to paint an old door. I've got an old door just here. You can see how terrible the condition is. I'm gonna hit that with a sample pot of paint which is otherwise just being wasted. It's just sitting around doing nothing. I've already cleaned, I've already cleaned this door, believe it or not. So it's, it's actually really clean, I think. Yeah, no, no dust or anything. I've cleaned it with a lot of bleach and I've cleaned it with sugar soap. So, and now I'm just gonna give it a spray with that pot, that sample pot of white paint and I'll see how, I'll see how it goes and I'll try and capture that on camera. That's how, it's, that's how the, the nozzle is. That's gonna give me a horizontal spray so I can go up and down. Right, here goes nothing. That's the uh, the unit there. I reckon it's pretty cool. Uh, obviously, the proof is in the pudding. One, one, the real proof in the pudding is when I've finished painting the entire exterior of my house. Then we'll know how, how good it is or how not suitable or whatever. Obviously, it's not as good as an, what's called an airless sprayer, but an airless sprayer starts at about $750 and goes up from upwards from there, whereas this unit was $99 at Bunnings. That's, um, that's the result there, basically. So nothing, nothing fancy, but boy, that paint gun really did the job, just like that, as you saw. And I had the feeling when I was doing that painting that I could just go ahead and paint the whole interior of the house. And that's probably what I'll end up doing. That just was so quick and easy. It was really fantastic. Beats the hell out of using a roller because a roller doesn't really have the it can't it can't compete with a sprayer for the for the ability of the sprayer to reach three-dimensional spaces like try try doing a three-dimensional shape try doing a complex shape like that with a roller it, it's it's a bit fiddly but with the sprayer you just pass over it maybe a bit underneath and 
and you're done. And I was I was fearing there might be some some drips or something, but there's nothing really to speak of. Maybe a little bit here. You can see it's all pretty well dry. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier before. Uh, before I started spray painting, I sanded down the surface with some. Um, I sanded down the surface with this, so I just got on there and just went scrape, scrape, scrape. This is 40 grit sandpaper. Just scratched it up a bit, which gives the new paint something to adhere to. That is essential. Don't try and paint a door without first scratching up the surface to give the new paint something to grab onto. Otherwise, even though it's good quality paint, you'll just be able to get your fingers and run them down and you'll tear the new paint right off. I'm speaking from, from bitter experience in, in years gone by. Make sure that you scratch up the surface before you put the paint on. But having said that, um, and I mean, I didn't even have to remove the latch and the handle, but I just did that to not look like a complete amateur on online but um even that wasn't necessary this is not a, not intended to be a very uh aesthetically pleasing door or anything like that i just wanted to make it presentable so so here's the paint gun they say not to tip them upside down uh, there it is there this is after using it for the first time so, so that's what it looks like. I did try my hardest to clean it. Not my hardest, but I tried significantly hard to clean it. You can still see that, particularly the jet. I tried to clean the jet very well, that thing in the center. There are still some, some droplets uh, on the unit. And I cleaned it out by filling this up three times and Blasting it out the blasting it out the nozzle, filling it up with water three times and blasting it until it was running completely clear. And uh, I probably was overkill filling filling up the pot three times and blasting it three times. Probably could have done it one and a half times, I think. And I also got a wet rag onto the the feeder tube inside the pot and uh, around the exterior of the unit. And um, yeah, I'm very happy with this unit. It's a good buy for $100. Obviously, I'll, I'll come up with a more in-depth review after I've owned it for a few months and after I've painted inside and outside the house. I mean, it's no good if it stops working effectively after four hours. If it continues to work month, month in, month out, the same way it worked for me tonight up on this door, then I'll be exceedingly, exceedingly happy and pleased. Um, I'll, I'll make an update video in, in due course. Thanks for watching.